Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Gifford and today we are going to talk about proportional relationships. Specifically, we're going to talk about looking at tables. So after this lesson, you will be able to analyze tables to determine if it shows a proportional relationship. So grab that purple proportional relationships sheet and we're going to fill out the top part of it um, about tables and then we'll fill in the other part with graphs and equations at a later date. So first thing that we need to understand is that a proportional relationship is linear and it has the point 0, 0 as one of its coordinates. In the same respect, a non-proportional relationship is non-linear and there is no 0, 0 in its table. So if we take a look at specifically proportional, we can say that they are either increasing or direct or decreasing and inverse. So it's one of those two things. So what's the difference? First of all, increasing, as the name of it might imply, goes up by a constant amount. Constant meaning the same thing from one value to the next. So as we look at this table, notice it has the coordinate pair 0, 0, because that's one of the things about being proportional. And then notice the y column changes by adding 23 each point. So that's what makes it linear. Now, as I said, we can also have a decreasing proportional relationship, which means it goes down by a constant amount. Notice it's the same thing, except one goes up, one goes down. And here's an example of a table in which, again, we have the point zero, 0, and it goes down by 7 from one value to the next. Looking at non-proportional relationships, it's the exact opposite of increasing and decreasing. There is no constant amount that it goes up by and it doesn't have, or it doesn't have 0, 0. So here's the first example. My table is 0, 7, 1, 9, 2, 4. And I notice I go up by 2 and then down by 5. So because this isn't the same right here, that's not constant, so that's not proportional. In this second example that I have for non-proportional, even though 3 plus 3 is 6 and 6 plus 3 is 9, this does not include the point 0, 0. So this is also non-proportional. So let's take a look at some examples. The directions or the question is the same for all three examples, so you can just write it one time. And so the question is this. Is this table proportional or not? If it is proportional, you have to decide if it's increasing or direct or decreasing, considered inverse. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a look at my table, and I see that I have the coordinate pair 0, 12. So if you recognize that right off the bat, that you do not have 0, 0, you should tell yourself, you know what, I know that that's not proportional. Even though I notice that from 12 to 9, it's going down by 3, and also from 9 to 6, it's going down by 3. Even though this part shows that it's linear, this is not proportional because it does not go through the origin here. Okay, let's look at example two. <clears throat> Take a moment and copy this table down. Okay, again, taking a look at this table, I notice that I do not have the coordinate pair zero, zero. So right off the bat, I know it's not proportional. And another thing that I notice going from 14 to 24, it's adding 10. And then going from 24 to four, it's subtracting 20. So not only do we not have the origin, but we also don't have a pattern here. <clears throat> Last example. Again, is this table proportional or not? So take a moment to copy this table down. <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to take a look at is the Y column. I see that it goes from negative 8 to negative 4 and from negative 4 to 0. So what's happening in that? Right, it's going up by 4. And because it's going up by 4 each point, each way, or in, from one value to the other, um, this has potential to be proportional. And again, the last thing that we have to look at is we need to see if it has the coordinate pair 0, 0. And in this case, it does. So we can say that this is a proportional and increasing relationship. So again, the big thing to look at is do you go up or down by the same amount here and do you have the coordinate pair zero zero both things have to be true 
in order to be considered proportional. If both are not true, then it's not proportional.